In this video, we're going to take a look at equations of circles. First of all, it would be helpful to know the general equation for circles, and that is x minus h squared plus y bugger plus y minus k squared. Wow. This thing's really giving me trouble today. Squared equals r squared. Okay, so that's the general form where hk is the center of the circle. hk is the center, and the radius of the circle is r. So r is the radius, hk is the center. So for this first uh, couple, let's pick out what the radius and the center of the circle would be and then we can talk about how we would sketch a graph of it so for this first one we have just x squared hmm so what would lead what would give us just x squared well zero for h so that means my h or my x coordinate of my center is at zero then I look for my y coordinate of the center this is y plus two Notice the general form is y minus k. So to get that minus, it must be minus a negative 2. So the y coordinate of my center is negative 2. So there's my center of my circle. Then I need to find the radius of the circle. And notice here the r squared. So we take the square root of this number. The square root of 121 would be 11. So my radius of that circle would be 11. So what I can do then to graph it, I would just go to 0, negative 2 on my coordinate plane and then go 11 in, go 11 up, go 11 to the right, go 11 to the left, go 11 down from that center and then whoosh, connect those dots and I've got my circle. Okay, let's pick out what the center and the radius for this one would be. Alright, so the x coordinate of the center, this is x plus 5 so remember if it's plus the general form is minus so it must be minus a negative 5 so negative 5 would be my center here then the y coordinate of the center well it's y minus 10 so that would be 10 so then we have that for our center then we need to find the radius well remember the radius is right here squared so I have to take the square root of that well, the square root of 9 would just be 3, so my radius is 3. Again, to graph this, I would first go to the point negative 5, 10, so over 5 to the left, up 10, then go 3 in each direction from that center, and connect the dots, and I've got my circle. Now, let's take a look at how we could write the equation for a circle, given some information. For this first one, we're given the center and we're also given the radius. We're asked to write an equation for that. So the center, well, my x coordinate, that's the h. My y coordinate, that's the k. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. So this is going to be x. And since it's negative 11 and this is minus, it would be minus negative 11, which would be plus 11 squared. Then we have plus y and then it's going to be minus negative 8 so that would be plus 8 squared and that's equal to the radius squared so 4 squared would be 4 times 4 which would be 16 so an, a circle with a center here and a radius there would have the equation of that now let's look at the last one this one they don't give us the radius but they do give us a point that's on the circle if we know the center and a point that's on the circle, could we figure out what the radius is? Well, sure we could. We could use the distance formula to figure out what the radius is. So what we're doing first is the distance from the center to that point on the circle. That distance will give us what the radius is. So let's, I'm going to take that over here. Remember the distance formula is d equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 
squared like so so we're gonna fill those things in so let's call this our x sub 2 and y sub 2 that we will call our x sub 1 y sub 1 so we have the square root of x sub 2 we're gonna call that negative 7 so negative 7 then minus 2 squared plus our y sub 2 is negative 1 so negative 1 minus negative 5 would be plus 5 squared okay then simplify some stuff here so negative 7 minus 2 would be negative 9 negative 9 squared would be negative 81 or excuse me it would be 81 negative times negative is positive so 81 then negative 1 plus 5 would be 4 4 squared would be 16 so plus 16 and I end up with the square root of 97 this would be 81 97 okay so what's that mean the radius has a length of the square root of 97 okay we can't really simplify that so we'll just leave it as it is then I'm gonna go ahead and write my equation so I have all the stuff I need I have the center and I have the radius so remember in our general form back up here we have x minus h which in this case is 2 so x minus 2 squared oh, it's all about drawing straight lines here today x minus 2 squared what a bugger I, think I might need to do a little troubleshooting here then plus y times or excuse me y minus k in this case we've got negative 5 so minus negative 5 would be plus 5 squared and that's equal to my radius squared so if my radius is the square root of 97 if I square that I get just 97 so there's my equation hopefully this was helpful remember equations of circles the general form is like this where hk is your center and r is your radius you can both pick out the center and the radius if the, you're given the equation or if you're given a center and the radius or a point that's on the circle you can find the radius and then write our equation hope this video was helpful uh, keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do great